long has she been straining for, do you know? Oh, she was a bit uneasy in the middle of last night and we, um, we brought her in about six this morning. It's back feet. We've got legs out and the hips are just starting to come through mum's pelvis. It's not going as planned. She's in all sorts of trouble. Something not a lot of people realise is that when I completed my vet training, it wasn't done in the city. It was done in rural Victoria, in cow country. Pretty much all I saw the whole time was bovine. So this week, I thought I'd go back to where it all began with a mate of mine, Andrew Perry, at his practice in Kybram. This could be interesting. This is it here. Well, they must be busy. They're doing renovations. G'day, Chris. How are you? How you doing, mate? I like the Renaults. Yeah, a lot, a lot of natural light at the moment. Don't change it. It's perfect. Ah, glad you like them. <laughs> yeah, come through. I'll show you around. The Kyabram Veterinary Clinic looks after Victoria's Goulburn Valley. The locals have been looking forward to the new boy in town. Chris been in town's all the talk. All the farmers' wives are in the hairdressers. It's uh, it's good to see a bit of excitement about. So this is our pharmacy, Chris. Wow. Mate, this is massive. A bit bigger than you used to? Yeah, a little. Just a little with a few other things. Like, <laughs> like these. We don't really use those too much. Are you gonna... <laughs> Back in Bondi. You're going to need a few of them this week. Well, yeah, we'll see about that. Andrew, sorry to interrupt. We've got a difficult carving at Robin Bev's and one of you could head out as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I've, I've got a bit on, so what do you reckon? Keen to get into it? You serious? Why not? You Straight away. Up for a bit of a challenge? I'll have a go, yeah. Good on ya. <laughs> you alright with that? Yeah, I'll get you some gear. A few ropes for ya. Yeah. Plenty of lube will help ya. Thank you, yeah. As they say, yeah. Alright. That's fun. it. Have fun. Fair enough. Alright, mate. Good on ya. Keep your phone on. Yep, no worries. Hey, how are you going? Oh, you're new, aren't you? I am, yeah, yeah. I'm Chris. All oh, right, Chris. Hello, Chris. Now, where is she? Uh, down in the yard here. Okay. How long has she been straining for, do you know? Oh, she was a bit uneasy in the middle of last night, and we um, we brought her in about six this morning. Rob and Bev are worried because Lara is having a first calf, but it's not going as planned. She's in all sorts of trouble. So you haven't seen any feet? behind there or anything? No, I just, had a, I just had a feel and there's a foot there and I think it's maybe back feet. Okay. With the breech birth, essentially, a calf is going the wrong way down a one-way street. So that means the biggest part of that calf's body, its hips, are the first thing that has to be pushed out. That makes it really tricky. There's a bit of a, a feeling here now, just to get an idea about what we're dealing with. <laughs> Won't be long. It's back feet. It's hard enough to have your calf the first time naturally, but when the calf comes out backwards, she's just got the, the mother of all challenges. In country Victoria, Chris is struggling with Lara's breech birth. She's been very good. Unfortunately, there's no way of actually switching the calf around and make it come out the right way, so we have to deal with what we've got. And the way we do that is attach some chains around the ankles of those back legs, and then apply some gentle pressure and just hope the calf comes out. It's a really difficult thing to do. It's sort of like trying to tie a knot in a bit of spaghetti. Now I've got chains around both legs. and feel both feet, both straight. We're ready to go. Yeah, you give that a bit of tension there. After 30 minutes of hard work for everybody, finally the first signs of the calf. Oh, well, we've got a foot there now, we can yep. see. Yeah, we're making progress. See how it's the, the sole oh, of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's upside down. There we go. Just go. Come on, Mark. It's all right. Here we go. 
This is about the toughest one we've had for a long time. We've got legs out and the hips are just starting to come through mum's pelvis. From now on in, things are going to happen really quickly. Suddenly, Lara collapses, putting her life and her unborn calves in extreme danger. The size of the calf is just pressing up on her nerves around her legs and she just can't support her own weight when those pressure on those nerves is so great. We need to get this calf out. Now, if we don't do this quickly, the calf's not going to make it. The problem we've got is she's already lying down, which is compressing the space we've got even more. We're already running out of room here. In Victoria's Goulburn Valley, Lara has collapsed during an extremely difficult breech burn. Both her and her calf are now at serious risk. Sorry, girls, it's the hardest part. Come on, Lara. Get through this, girl. You'll be right. The calf is out, but there are no signs of life. Just trying to drain the fluid out. Come on, after all that, you're gonna give your mum a nice surprise, huh? He's been through a lot for you. He's still alive. Still alive. I'm really glad I called you. We'd have had a dead calf otherwise. Yeah. He's a big boy. Girl. It's a girl. <laughs> you're a big girl. <laughs> you surprised well, me. Oh, you're a lucky girl, I think. Yeah. I think you're a lucky girl. Good on you, Chris. Beautiful little calf. You know, there are rules in this world, and you were meant to come out the other way. You broke the rules. It's OK. You made it hard for everyone, especially your mum. Very grateful, Chris. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Any ideas on names for her? Well, what do you reckon, Beb? Well, what about Christina? Christina, well, Chris the vet, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be where we remember all this then. Yeah. Christina. Going to have to break the news to mum and dad that there's a new member of the family. I'm one of three boys, but now there's a girl, Christina Brown. That would be some sort of shock. Come on, girl. You're just better than I thought it would be. Here. Straight away, Lara walks over to Christina, starts licking her and making those little mooing sounds which just say, hey, I'm your mum. I'm here to help you. It's a really nice moment. Been a good outcome. Yeah, yeah, great. Really good. Thanks so much. Oh, he's done extremely well, I'd say, yeah. A lot of city vets are small animal vets, and this is probably a, a challenge for them too. So far, so good. First task achieved. Both animals alive, seemingly happy. It's good. I think it's only going to get tougher, though. As for Christina, the little heifer has now recovered from her difficult start to life and is now a picture of health over at Rob and Bev's farm. What do you reckon, Bev? As good as we've got? Yeah, Christina. Yeah. Good little calf. Yeah. Really good. We're very grateful to Chris for you know, bringing Christina into the world and, and she's such a lovely little thing. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below that way.